Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford, and this is one of my Monday sort of half lessons uh, that are sort of made impromptu after getting feedback from Patreon supporters about the previous full Old Norse lesson. Uh, so the question that I got about weak verbs is how can I predict what the past tense stem format will be, given that in some verbs it's ed, in some verbs it's d, in some verbs it's t. Well, unfortunately, because there's often complicated historical reasons behind why it's ed, d, or t, it's not always perfectly predictable at all. The default past tense stem format is ed. So if you have to guess one, guess ed, but with the two following exceptions. If the root of the verb ends in t, so for example, leta, the past tense stem format is always also a t. And if the past tense, if, if the root ends in ed, or if it ends in d, the past tense stem format is always d. So senda, sen, the past tense uh, goes exenda, thu sendir, han sendi. Notice what's happened there is that Old Norse, anytime you get a sequence of three consonants, Old Norse always wants to drop the second one, especially if the resulting uh, junction is still pronounceable, which it certainly is here. We've got two separate syllables to divide the consonants between. And also, especially if one of the two consonants is the same, what if the middle consonant is the same as consonant either preceding or following it? So that's certainly the case here. So instead of I sent being ek, S-E-N-D-D-A, it's ek, S-E-N-D-A. Okay, but also if the root ends in ed, the past tense stem format is a D. And then the ed and the root changes to a D. So veda, to hunt, your past tense is ek veda, right? I hunted through vedir, han vedi, etc. Or uh, uida, to destroy, the past tense is ek uida, ek destroyed, I destroyed. Uh, through oidir, you destroyed, etc. So fundamentally, uh, you ought to guess ed before anything else, but if, it, if the root ends in t, right, if you knock off the infinitive a and, you, and, and the end of the verb is a t, then the past tense stem form is t, and if you knock off the infinitive and the root of the verb is uh, ends in ed or d, then the past tense stem form is a d. So that's the main thing that I got a uh, question about from the weak verb lesson, and uh, I hope that helps uh, answer a question that I'm sure more people had than just the people on Patreon. Uh, keep in mind that Patreon supporters do get early access to the lessons, uh, at least a week early on the Old Norse lessons, and if a Old Norse lesson is not posted on the main channel, it will at least be posted early on Patreon every week. All right, well, folks, thank you for another week of your support on Patreon and uh, for your, uh, your interest and your good questions, and uh, for now, from the Utah Raptor Room, beautiful Colorado. I'm wishing you all the best.